Hello, I'm Alexis with the Upper Thames River Conservation Authority and I'm here today to show you a little bit about our floodplain model. So what this model can help us do is visualize the role that wetlands and the type of ground cover plays in flood management and in the, the way that our Thames River and other rivers throughout the area flow. So here at the front to start off, what I've done is I've placed some wet sponges in this uh, front area here and these actually represent a wetland. So wetlands do a really excellent job of absorbing water and cleaning that water before it enters the river. What I'm going to do to show this is we have our rainmaker in place and I'm going to pour in two liters of water into our model. We're going to watch as the water flows into the wetland and then slowly drains throughout, uh, throughout our river and into the bucket. We can start off with a little bit of rain and then add more and more and more water. Now we'll notice that the water is flowing through the river in a really kind of slow controlled way. Our river is rising a little bit, but not so much that it's placing any of the homes at any risk of flooding that are kind of at our lower elevations here and we'll give the water another minute to slowly drain through and we can see that it's a nice slow flow coming all the way out of our model. Now that we've let the water drain through, we're going to measure how much water has flowed through our river. So if you recall, we started off by pouring two liters of water in to start. And here, when we measure this, we're left with only about 300 milliliters. So the large majority of water is still being retained by this wetland system. And this will, over time, will slowly release that water into the, into the river. Now what we've done is we've removed our wetland from the, where the rain is falling here, and we're going to replace it with a parking lot. So if you look closely at this parking lot, it's made of a really hard material. And this hard material doesn't let our rain pass through. So we call this kind of ground cover impermeable and it doesn't let the rain infiltrate. Instead, we're going to notice that we have much more rain running off the parking lot and going immediately into our river here. So we're going to pour, get our rainmaker on top once again, and we're going to do our same experiment. So we have the same amount of water, two liters, that we're going to pour into our rain here and it's going to land on top of our parking lot add a little plaza into our parking lot, maybe make it a little more realistic. And we're going to watch how much water flows through the river. And also, I'd like us to keep an eye on our different houses here that are at lower elevation and see if the water rises higher. So if we're more prone to, flood, uh, to flooding events. Once again, we'll start off with the slower rain and then we'll add the rest in. And we can notice right away that our barn that's down here at our lower elevation and our house that's in this floodplain here have both flooded when we've replaced our wetlands with a, with a surface parking lot. You might have also noticed that our water levels are much higher throughout the river and the river is flowing much faster. So our rivers, when we have this kind of really high flow, lots of water events, our rivers can be much more dangerous for people because they're, they're much deeper unexpectedly and they're also flowing very, very quickly. Now, once again, we're going to let our water continue through for a minute and then we're going to measure how much water came out of our model at the end. We started with two liters, the same as we did with our wetland, but this time, this time we had substantially more water flow through. And actually, we have about 1,700 milliliters this time that flowed through, compared to only 300 milliliters that flowed through when we used our wetland as the ground cover. So here we can really see the impact that wetlands and that permeable or impermeable ground cover have on the frequency and the severity of flooding along the river.